All the honours of a state visit for one of Britain's oldest allies in the Gulf. The Emir of Kuwait, like the Queen, is in his 80s. When his tiny, oil-rich country was invaded by Iraq, it was British forces who helped liberate it. The two countries have since grown closer. This meeting of two monarchies marks more than a century of ties between Britain and Kuwait, where British forces have fought and died. But back in the Gulf, there have been violent protests demanding more democracy. Kuwait has not been immune to the Arab Spring. Three times in the last month, mass protests have turned violent, with police using tear gas and batons to break them up. The opposition wants an elected government that's not dominated by the ruling family. Kuwait's government has tried to curtail all large protests. Britain's expertise in security has caught Kuwait's eye. They've been especially interested in the physical protective measures used during the London Olympics. During this visit, a major UK-Kuwait security contract is expected to be announced, including cooperation on cyber security, where Britain's GCHQ have the national lead. Human rights groups will be watching to see it's not used to suppress peaceful protest. Frank Gardner, BBC News, Windsor.